For this project, we're going to be making a 3D printed maze that has a friction fit between the top and the base. We're using an interference fit, talking about tolerances. We're going to have different destinations for our BB to go and drop into. And you will get to customize all of the inside pieces here. Now, to make this as easy as possible, we're going to utilize the rectangular pattern tool. So after you've sketched out your design, we're going to go and start a new part file as a 2D sketch. Let's go ahead and pick our base. And this base is going to be a square 2.28 by 2.28. Remember, you can use tab to switch between your X and your Y. And then we're going to grab a point, put that at the origin, and use a rectangular pattern on that point, which is right here. And there's my point. Direction 1, I want to be going up 24 times. And that'll be 0.19. And it's also me going to the right. So if it goes to the left, just hit the switch direction arrow. That'll be 24 times. And 0.19 apart there as well. And something looks off. It's not 24. My mistake. That'll be 12 times. There's an advanced version of this as well. I'll show you how to set that up. And um, actually, let's make that 13 times on both of those. The advanced version uses 24. Okay, now that you have your grid, we can just switch to our rectangle tool. I want you all to make a rectangle on the inside. Okay, this is going to be the, the inside wall of your maze, so it has to start inside of a box. And then from there, we can grab our rectangle tool and start making out the other parts of the maze. So if you wanted to make a long run or a short square, uh, you can do this and it should all snap together for you. So make it look just like your pattern, whatever you had planned out, and uh, go ahead and finish your sketch.